Um, right. The most basic training you can do is always going to be based on the hardball room, as you can see on this um, on this sheet here. Now, um, that gives you a vertical line, gives you two angle lines, and it gives you the centre line. And at the very bare minimum of sort of weapon training, you want to be basically striking down the centre, striking or cutting on those angles, and then using the centre as a target. Now again, there's infinite number of ways you could do that, and you could do it with Japanese swords, you could do it with European swords, you could do it whatever you like. We're going to just basically do it with a broom handle, because I say this is the, really the most basic way of training. The first thing we're going to work with is basically the, 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 the tour um, stance, or the tour gives you basically a striking action which comes straight down the centre line. Uh, anything, the tour stance is basically this, so anything with the arm kind of reversed become, can be considered to be tour. And for that, my, my, the, if I start my ready, work at my ready position and step back, that's a tour grip and that becomes a tour grip. Now you can, if you really can't get the coordination right to do what I'm about to do, you could just go forward doing that and I suppose that would work reasonably well. But doing a reverse where you flip it through at least enables you to train on both sides of the body. If you can see what's happening, I'm actually bringing the stick more or less straight down, but I'm taking my body off the line with each strike. I'll show you what that looks like from the side. There's the side of I'm holding it in, the, in this grip here. I bring it over and down, then I release the back hand, grab it there and bring it to here. Bring it over, release the back hand, hand goes to hand, back to here and that's the that gives you a continuous striking action. Turn it up from the front again, imagine the centre line of the hard wall and I'm drawing down that line over and over again. Okay? First one. Then you've got the uh, the nud rune, okay, which is the second one we're gonna work with, which is gonna enable us to work with the angle lines of the hard wall. The good stance goes like that, and the, the the weapon position is there. Now, note what the way I'm holding it. It's on my thigh. It's touching my stomach. My right leg is back, so the stick is back behind me. So I'm making good with the stick in that direction, not with the arms. The right hand, the top hand, is pointing down. The thumb is pointing down, and then I've got the angle strike is going to be that, draw it back, plant it on the leg, strike the other way. So there you go, I'm making the angle strikes with the nud, from the nud position. Strike, strike. And show that from the side. As you see, the right leg, one leg is back, the weapon is back, it's on my thigh, it's on my stomach. If you get those reference points, the, 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 the weapon will be at the right angle. If you're not holding it there, you don't know where it is. If it's on the fine stomach, you're at the right angle. Strikes, draw back, plant. Strike, draw back, plant. Strike, draw back, plant. Um, make sure the hand stays down and don't pull it out here. The slant stays fairly wide and the stick stops there on that hargal line. Comes there, strikes onto the hargal line, strikes onto the hargal line. Okay, now the third thing about, so the hargle has given us our downward strike and it's given us the angle strikes. It also gives us a centre target to aim at because the other thing you want to be able to do is a straight, straight thrust. Right, the tier, um, the tier stance uh, gives us the basis for making a straight thrust to the centre. That's the tier stance. And once you hold the weapon in tier, you're basically set up for thrusting. Um, the, way, the best way of doing this will be to simply go into a, this grip here. We'll come back to this one in a moment. You walk up the stick and you thrust. Walk up, and if I did that from the front, the stick's online, 
I walk up the stick into my tier position, thrust to the centre. Again, walk up the stick, aim it to the centre and thrust. So the same thing applies to the left hand side. One, thrust. One, thrust. If you notice what I'm doing is the I'm not pulling the stick back, but I'm walking forward on the stick, I lower the body slightly to keep the angle correct, and then I thrust it forward. Okay, so there's your three exercises using tour for your down strike, nud for your angle strike, and then tear for your straight thrust. All of them working around the, the hardball room. And, and that basically sets you up for the only, if you think about it, those are the only meaningful things you can do with a weapon is line, 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 or dead centre. Um, everything else is just a variation on that in one form or another. Right. A couple of details that will help with your practice of this, um, these drills. Um, footwork is something that often gets overemphasised in martial arts. At the end of the day, if you haven't fallen over, your feet are probably in the right place. So people get a little bit too hung up sometimes on, you know, where their feet should be. And that's in fact, they need to be they need to be supporting you on the ground. That's what feet are for. Having said that, um, it's important to remember that the body and the stick should be creating a unity, and therefore the line through the feet is the line through the hips, is the line through the shoulders, is going to be the line through the weapon. So, if I take a line on the ground like this, and I stand astride it with a weapon across my body this way, then I get the stick will be at 90 degrees to the, to the centre line. If I take a step back to 45 degrees, which is what we work with with the nud strike, um, then I'm basically going to, the, the, the stick should come between my legs, and that will give me that line. If I bring the feet in line with each other, then the stick comes to the vertical, which is what we were using when we did the tour strike. So the tour strike involves me bringing the feet in line, each side of the stick, and that enables me to create the centre line here. But when I do the nud strike, I keep the feet further out, keep the feet wider, and therefore as I come forward, it keeps that line. If I bring the feet in line with each other, the stick will come to there. I bring the feet parallel with each other, the stick comes to there. Okay, so it's not a bad idea to put a, a stick on the floor and then try firstly doing the tour one, stepping over the stick so that you get a straight line, or then keeping it, putting the stick on the floor like this. Now, if you note, the heel is pretty much on the stick and the other foot is out to the side. That gives me this line here. I turn the foot to there and then I come forward, that gives me that strike there. Turn the foot to there as I bring the foot as this back, turn the foot in and again brings me forward and that keeps this hardal line. So it's, it comes from the feet, uh, everything does that. Um, so yeah, so from that position there um, you can take it back angle, straight, or of course if you came right round, you start coming into sort of evasion movements and things like that, right the way around from there. But the key ones are seeing what happens when the feet are in line, and what the feet happens when the feet are there. Because one gives you a straight line, and then one gives you the angle line. We've looked at um, three uh, exercises uh, working with the hardball. At the end of the day, the hardball's got three lines and a middle. And we've already worked with, we've just worked with those. We, we, we've, we've gone down the centre, gone down the arms, and we've, we've attacked the centre with, with a straight thrust. Um, now, the tour-based strike can be very powerful, and it's a very good movement, but it has limitations, and one of the limitations is the fact that the knuckles are on the outside. So we have another grip, which we call, so that's called, if that's the tour grip, the other option is what we call the os grip. And that is because it's based on the os stance, which is based on the os room. So that's the os room. That's, this is the os stance. 
and therefore that becomes the os grip or the os hold for the weapon. Okay, that's the thing. Now, this can be used on, again, uh, on a straight line and it can be used on an angle line. If my feet are in line, then the stick will be on the centre line. And if my feet are straddling the, the line, then the stick is going to be on an angle. So there's another straight down option and there's another angled option. And um, we're going to have a look at those and how you might use them for training. So the first one is a strike down the centre line of the of the, of the hargle. I bring the, feet, the, the weapon above my head. My feet are in line with the, with the line on the ground. I hold the weapon directly above my head and I strike down the centre line. I then bring it back to the left side, put it directly above my head, feet are still in line, weapon comes down the centre line. To my right, strike, left, strike. And this one we usually designate as the OS exercise because we're striking straight down into the OS position. I'll show you what that looks from the side. Start with the ready position, deploy above the head, grasp the weapon here, and strike. Flip it over, grasp it above the head, and strike. Do that coming forward, above the head, straight down the centre line, straight down the centre line, straight down the centre line, straight down the centre line. Turn. Okay. Now to strike on the hargle uh, arms or the angle lines, I use what we call that we use the, the R um, position. Right, R being left hand up, right hand down in this particular case. Again, it's just a, a label to attach to the exercise really in this case. That's the R stance. And then this time, if I take the weapon um, from, the, uh, from, from the ready position here, and I flip it over, it comes to here. So now, if that was making nud, that's now making ah, this position here. Weapon is aimed straight, pretty much forward, but my feet are slightly wider, so there's an angle. And from that, I strike into os, flip it over, strike into os. But again, I'm coming down on the lines. Right back, bang. 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 So from the side, there's my R position. I said to get into it, hold it there, turn it over into the thumb, underneath, pull it back against the stomach, push it against the forearm. There's my reference point, forearm, stomach. That gives me my position. Strike, strike, strike. Forward. Notice again, stomach, forearm, thumb, that holds it all in place. Bang. Bang. 